Hi, this is Jose De La Portilla. Thanks for tuning in to Toolbox Tuesday. Today we're going to look at the Hillmore Digital Adjustable Torque Wrench. You go over a few of its features, we're going to unbox it and then show you how to use it. One of the main things that I want to stress about the Hillmore uh, Digital Torque Wrench here is that it can lighten your load. Because the head on the torque wrench is adjustable, unlike others where you need to swap out heads, this one's pretty much easy to use by adjusting it. It's digital, it's real easy to use, precise readings, and there's even a calibration certificate that comes with it. You've got extra confidence that you've got it set to the right measurements, and then this thing can do anything from 5 to 99, almost 100 foot-pounds of torque. And uh, so let's go ahead and unbox it and see what it looks like inside. First thing you notice is you're going to get a really strong, rigid case. Well branded, it's got the Hillmore logo on it. And when we pop it open, you've got your digital torque wrench. You've got your user's manual to tell you how to set it all because there's some pretty neat specs and features in this. And you're going to receive a certificate of calibration letting you know that it's set up right. Pretty important if we're trying to dial down things like flare nuts, service valve caps, compressor bolts, motor mounts, that we have the right torque specs and we have it set right. So here's your certification letter letting you know it's been certified. Now when we look at the torque wrench itself, It's got a nice feel to it. It's got a handle right here that you can kind of see is contoured to fit your hands around it as you lean on it. It's got the adjustable grip here, or adjustable jaw here that you can adjust open or close to whatever size you need. Uh, on the front of it, it's got marked in inch, three quarter, half, and quarter. On the back, it's got your metric sizes. You got your digital display, and you even have an auxiliary port here, which I believe can be used for logging data with the right software. Installing the batteries is pretty easy. Little flathead screwdriver right here pops the batteries in. They're already in place on this one, so let's just power it up and take a look at a few of the features on it. Start by pushing the power button. You see it comes on. And it's displaying M1, memory one. It has a set of nine different memories, so if you're working on the same parts over and over again, program them into the memory of the torque wrench. And then when you start to use it, the display right here will have a set of LED lights that'll start low and go high until you get to the last green LED light letting you know you hit your torque spec and if you overdo it, it'll go red to let you know you've tightened it too much. You can hit memory to see all your different memories. So that first one, 19 foot-pounds, that's, that's for like tightening up a fla uh, flare nut on a TXV. Uh, 8 pounds, that's going to be like a service valve cap on your service valve. Yes, we should be torquing those down to about 8 foot-pounds. Uh, I programmed this one in. If you're doing a compressor change out, did you know that you should torque those uh, bolts down on the compressor feet to 90 foot-pounds? When's the last time you checked those? Right now in the past we've gotten away with not necessarily torquing everything down because we were using simple fittings. Now if you're taking a look at a mini split job, a lot of flare fittings, a lot of compression fittings, getting to the right torque specs is critical. Blower motors that are big commercial blower motors, well, they need to be torqued down properly because there's a lot of vibration that can come with a three or a five horsepower motor. So the digital, the digital adjustable torque wrench from Hillmore is going to give you a quick and easy way to see that. So the next thing that we need to do is put this bad boy to the test. So let's go to a couple valves here and see what we can torque this thing down to. Okay, so for this example here, we're looking at a service valve cap. Now, normal rule of thumb, is we would tighten them down finger tight and give it like a half a turn, a quarter turn, something like that. But if we wanted to be specific, a matter of fact, the installation manual for this unit says it should be tightened down to eight foot-pounds. So here's my first memory that I had set for 19, which is what we should normally tighten a flare nut on a TXV to. So let's go to our second memory, which is eight foot-pounds. And again, I'm going to tighten this down, hand tight. I'm going to put my torque wrench on. Tighten up the jaw, and then let's see how easy it is to torque this thing down. Watch the LED lights. When they go red, we know we've hit our torque range. Just that simple. And with the memory stored in, we know that this is our service rent, our service valve cap. We just torqued it down. That's much better than just the guessing game. You know, remember, every service valve cap is going to leak eventually. 
there's a stem inside there, a valve that moves up and down, they're eventually going to leak. It's the cap that keeps the refrigerant in. So torquing it down prevents, uh, prevents leakage and gives it a good tight seal. Let's move over now to a TXV and see what that looks like. Okay, so now we're going to try to adjust the torque specs on this TXV. So let's see here. Let's get the valve on. Always use a backup wrench to make sure you don't twist the copper up. And if you can't see the valve, or if you can't see the display, just listen for the light, or listen for the sound and look for the lights. There you go. We've just torqued it to 19 foot-pounds using our Hillmore digital torque wrench. All in one clay case, pretty sleek design. Memory settings are pretty cool, so tell us what you think in the chat below. Thanks for tuning in to Toolbox Tuesday.